Dear fellow coders, welcome to One Little Coder. In this video, we are going to learn how to make such a beautiful map using our programming language. So this is a code that I came across as part of the 30 days map challenge and this is not my code. So at the end of this video, you're going to learn how to make a chart, make a chart or a plot or a map that looks exactly like this. Because I live in Bengaluru, I'm making a map for Bengaluru. But if you are living in a different city, I'll also tell you how you can make it for your own city. So let's get started. First of all, the credit where it's due. So this is a code from Tanya Shapiro. So this is the link, the GitHub link of Tanya. So you can go ahead and then see what are the projects that Tanya has got. So there are, I've made some modifications to this code, Tanya's code, but this is primarily Tanya's code. Okay, so what are the libraries that we need? So first we need tidyverse just for, you know, ggplot making the chart itself. Then we need OSM data. OSM stands for OpenStreetMap. So this is what we are going to use to collect the map data. SF for spatial manipulation. So this is one of the popular, most popular libraries that is available in R for um, spatial GIS, uh, geographical information. So um, SF. And then again, like I've uh, tried to use a different font in this particular case, like you can see that I've changed the font name, the, the type of the font that is displayed here. So show text is a library that helps you install different fonts. In particular, in this case, I've managed to use a Google font, okay? So the output product is going to look like this. Um, if you want to install all these packages, it's quite easy. Uh, so I'm assuming that you are not very familiar with R, but you want to create a chart for your city. So the way you install a package in R is you have to go say install dot packages and then give the package name. In this case, like we want first tidyverse, so you do tidyverse and then do you you do OSM data and then you do should I read this awesome data maybe awesome data and then you do SF and then you do show text so after you install all the four packages uh, you have to just read this uh, execute this so control enter then you have managed to successfully load all the libraries so at this point we have loaded all the libraries and the next thing is we need to extract the information the spatial geospatial information right for a particular city that we want and this is where you would make change for your own city name so if you see my code what um, this code ideally I should say uh, so we have to give the city name here like basically however you are going to search on um, open street map if you are quite confused you can go to open street map and then put your city name there and search like just identify the right keyword that will give you the details like this but if you are if you're quite uh, if your city is very popular you don't need much information you can come ahead and then just just give the city name for example in my case i'm doing it for bengaluru india so bangalore bengaluru whatever you would like to call it and you can you can enter it so this will extract the base main data that you have if you want to see what this function does you can see that this is to extract bounding box for a given place name and the place name is what you give and then you can also see all other information associated with this function here so that's another way for you to keep yourself updated with what this function is and um, then basically you have to add some features for example uh, what, what all the information that you want so here we are saying if you want to search for it yeah yeah add awesome feature um so like we are trying to extract highway with uh, the details like motorway primary secondary tertiary if you do not want a lot of lines here like you see uh, you want like only motorway you want only primary then you can just reduce reduce the value here or even later on when we make the chart you can do it like you can extract everything here and then reduce it so either way you can do this so these are like the main sit main um, main streets which is what we call main street or street and uh, the next thing is you have to you can do the same thing for um, the smaller streets like a residential street living street service footway or whatever you want so it's, it's again up to you how much you want to display on the map like in my case like if you see my map uh, is quite um, i would say like it has a lot of information if you want less number of lines then you can you can make a call like that so maybe maybe we'll do a version with uh, less number of lines as well so now now that you have extracted main streets which are like motorway primary secondary tertiary and then you have also extracted small streets that are like residential living street service and footway the next is if you want if you have a lot of water bodies like river streams then you can also extract that river information like if you want to you know display it in a separate color in my case i didn't want to you know make my chart with multicolor or um, trouble it with the different colors so i've just uh, stuck with the uh, just streets no water bodies but if you want again 
you use the same same way uh, instead of highway you would probably give river and then the values you will give different water bodies value and then you can extract it so at this point we successfully have extracted the bounding box information and also you know added some more information to our um, location that we want so if you want to see how this data looks like so basically this will be a list but uh, there is an option for you to see the the data frame so when you go to streets and then put dollar then you can see that OSM points or some points uh, because we are dealing with uh, points and lines you can go here and see but it it gives you like um, like polygons as well so here you can see what is the name of the street and then you know some more information like the information that we captured whatever information was available um, what kind of thing is this is a traffic signal this is a bus stop and where is the location so all these things you can see like whatever information is available you can you can actually see and and like I just said, right, let, let, let's say like you have decided to only plot the traffic signals of Bengaluru or you have decided only to plot the bus stop of Bengaluru. So after you extract it, when we are going to make the chart, you can filter your data only for highways and then make that. So that's how, that's how you would ideally do it if you want to, you know, do this only for that particular uh, data point. So now we have main street and some small street data. Now we have to define what what do we want uh, to display like what co colors we want to display so i've uh, i've stuck with the same colors that tanya has used because i had liked it so but you you are free to change anything that you want so we have a background color and uh, we have a street color we have a small street color in our case we don't have river now so we don't need and then the font color the font that we are going to use so again uh, it's completely up to you you have to decide whatever color that you want to use um, but but if you want i can also show you a different variant of you know a different color the next most important thing that i i struggled a little bit is uh, to add a font uh, and that's how uh, we are using show text after you use show text you can add any google font that you want so you have to just go to google fonts and then find the font that you like and then you can particularly use this function font add google and then give the font name the family and then the font name and then that would get installed so you'll be able to see i think you can use something like font families uh, and then you can also see you know whether that font has been installed after you execute this so after you execute this step you will you can check here whether that font family is installed which means it is ready for you to use it along with your ggplot so now we are going to make two versions of um, the chart one is the light version and another one is the dark version what you are currently seeing on the screen is the dark version but you can also make the light version and making chart thanks to sf library it's it's super simple it is as same as making a bar chart but you are indeed making a map so all you have to do is create a base layer of gg plot and then after that you have to after that you have to define the data point for the streets and then you have to give what the color you want and then what is the thickness of the line you want and what is the alpha the transparency or opacity that you want so once you define this for your main street you do the same thing for your small street so at this point you have something like this let me let me run this separately and show you like how it would look and how are we going to transform this into this so when you run this it might take a little bit of time so you have to be like you're you're plotting a lot of data points right on the screen so depending upon my machines um, um, available memory and a lot of other factors you would see something so when you make so this is how first it looks so this is exactly what we are going to change into what we just saw now so right now it looks like this it has got both street um, main street and also substrate and once you play with these parameters right if you do not have alpha it would look very thick if you change the size of it again you play with the size so for example if i decide to give one for a oh i'm sorry did i just run that i shouldn't have run that there i should have run it here so what i, I want to do is i want to actually give one for the main size like i wanted to i wanted to let me just delete this i wanted to actually give one for the main size one okay just to show you how it looks right so you so if you so you know uh, what, what, how much of an impact size has in uh, the aesthetic view and again it is it is your personal choice right so you can you can decide like so when when we see when we put one you can see the thickness of the lines like mm, bit worse than before or better than before whatever you you feel like and there is an alpha that's why you see a little bit of transparency over here so now that you have made this for these two 
um so next you don't want this to be there so like you would have the same thing and then you would do theme void theme void is to you know get rid of everything there so you don't you don't you basically you just want the map you don't want anything in the x-axis or y-axis because we are not making a chart of course so you want to say theme void to get rid of everything now this is what you have now after this uh let's say you now want to add a title right so you want to make sure that you have a good title so that is what the next section is so you are going to say use the family quattro cento and the font color that we have already defined the size of the font what is the type of the font and what is this uh, horizontal justification like should it be center should it be left should it be right justified and what is the vertical justification from the chart like up down all these and uh, once you do this for title, you would do the same for the subtitle as well. So we are going to have title and subtitle. If you remember the chart, we had the title which says Bengaluru India and then you would see a subtitle which has coordinates. So title and subtitle. So the next important thing is building the border, the, the border that you saw uh, with the chart. So that is another thing. So you have to build the border. Again, you can select the color, uh, whether you want white color, whether you want the same color that, that you have used here. So again your own choice and uh, the margin as well so now that you have finished all these things you have to define the title and subtitle which is bengaluru and the coordinates if you ask me the most important section in this is this this is a section where you decide what is a section what is a part of the map that you want to actually show like see honestly speaking you don't want to show the entire map yeah, let, let me let me show you how does it look when you show the entire map and let me also show you how does it look when you show only the particular part okay so ideally it looks like this when you when you make this chart the chart would look like this and uh, and you would see it's quite uh, you know cluttered there is a huge noise because you're covering a lot of places but we don't want it like this right we are we are not making a map for people to for probably people to use like i'm making a map probably i want to make a make a printout or make a make an art and then put it in my house because i live in bengaluru so we are doing it for an aesthetically pleasing and artistic way so it it's not about how many details we have it's about how it looks so what we want to do is let's say now we want to zoom in okay so now what i would do is i would take the same same chart that i've got same map that i've got and i'm going to cut it or crop it or zoom it and I'm going to do it in such a way that I want to see if you see this, I'm focusing this place. Okay. And somewhere from this to this. So I'm going to focus somewhere in this area. This is, this is my zone. You can see, right? So that's, that's what I'm giving. And then when I run this, you would see a totally different detail that you would see on the map. So you take the same map that you have built before. And uh, what you try to do is now you try to zoom in. So you can see the individual lines and details that you have got and that is what makes this map an artistic map than you know like your typical map so again this this is the place where you would have to change the data for your own city if you are building it for example in my case i know the bengaluru is longitude and latitude the coordinates are uh, this so i try to make sure that you know i'm i'm including that i'm covering this necessary area so let's say you are building it for mumbai you are building it for chennai you are building it for a different city in india or you are building it for a different city somewhere outside india this x limb white limb is something that you have to make sure that you are giving it for your chart so that for me it was an iterative process so i build this thing and then i check it i change the value to ultimately see which is the area that i wanted to cover and then i covered it so yeah that is something that you need to keep in your mind so it, this if you are going to use this code straight out of it like i'll link the code in the youtube description you're going to use this code if you do not change this thing you may not even see the chart uh, at the start for a different city because what we are cropping or what we are zooming in for the longitude and latitude may not be even relevant for your city so my advice here is find the longitude latitude of your city make the initial chart like how i showed initially like only this particular section and then from there iteratively see you know when you reduce or when you zoom in with uh, the coordinate sf then how does it you know change so like look at that and then then finalize whatever your x limit and y limit should be so i hope this is clear if you have any questions in this particular aspect like if you're trying to reproduce this code and you're not getting the chart please let me know in the comment section 
so at this point we have we have designed the chart that we want so let's go ahead and then print the chart display the chart i'm not printing per se display the chart so now you would see the dark mode chart like the dark chart and you can you can actually see how does it look so uh, for me if you ask me personally it looks really really beautiful uh, the only problem probably that i would say is that uh, th this chart has to be big right so i cannot i cannot show a small chart and then i, I cannot you know i cannot let it have all the details but again uh, this is a chart where i can play with the colors as well like i can use this uh, this yellowish color here or i can use the yellowish color on the border i can do all those things I, I'm, I'm just leaving it out to you so it's up to you you can you can use white color for the straight uh, main street you can use like a, a different color for like whatever you want to do you can do so if you just just want if you just want to see right so i can i can actually show you um so like i can put white color for uh, the main street okay and i'm making the same chart and you can see how does it look how how different it looks so the only thing is it would take a couple of seconds um maybe like 10 15 seconds for it to draw but um, but yeah so like does it look good uh, i wouldn't say it looks good so for me it looks slightly crappy but uh, but again you get the point right so you have this main and then you have this sub so let me do control z um, and then keep keep the color the same so now that we have managed to make the dark mode chart the light mode chart is almost same it's just that you're going to play with the background color street color we don't have a reverse so so you're going to play with a totally different set of colors and again it's up to you right if you want to do a chart in the matrix theme you can make it in the matrix theme so it's all it's all same except that you are playing with the colors so i'm just going to go ahead and simply run this so that you can see how it looks when we have the same map in the light color i'm sorry that i've uh, i have uh, used um, chart and map synonymously multiple times here oh i don't see the title that's a problem where is the title did i change the title color Title font color two. What is a font color two? That's a shocker. Why don't I see the title and subtitle? Oh, it's there. Maybe it didn't render properly. Yeah. So I I personally like this chart much more than the dark dark chart um, map. Again, yeah. I'm sorry. I'm, I've been using both. Uh, I personally like this thing. You can again like like I said like if you want to change the font name font family, you can go and then say okay I don't want this. I want I want like mono. Um, I can run this, run this, and you can, you know, you can have a different font family as well. Like it's up to you. So whatever you want to play with, you can play with. But if you decide to take this code exactly, see, see yeah, like oh, why would somebody like this font? I don't know. So yeah, uh, if you if you decide if you decide to make a similar chart for your own city using the code, um, you know, basically the code that I've that I've inherited or copied to be really honest from Tanya. Uh, so what you have to do is certain things. First, you need to enter your city detail. Second, you need to get the longitude and latitude of your city, even though it is a label that will help you decide what is, how do you want to zoom in? And then you have to change your city name and then city's longitude and latitude. Only these are the changes that you have to do. Um, other than that, of course, like you have to make sure that you have all the libraries installed. And that should ideally help you reproduce the same chart. This this beautiful, I mean, it's not like I'm narcissistic that I like my own work and I feel this chart is really beautiful. But this chart is really really beautiful when I when I actually saw Tanya's tweet. So I would link uh, Tanya's tweet and Tanya's um, Tanya's GitHub repository as well in the YouTube description. Credit where it's due. So it is it is really the, the original work is from Tanya, and I'm just. I've just copied it from my own city. And um, if you have any comments, please let me know in the comment section. Otherwise, I'll absolutely love to see the kind of chart map that you are making for your own city. Let me know on uh, Twitter as well. Um, if you have any other thoughts and uh, anything to improve, please, um, please flood them in, uh, in the YouTube comment section. Otherwise, I hope you stay safe. Happy programming.